Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Daisy B. Today we are going to be doing a long requested video. Now I actually had one of these videos up a very long time ago, but I decided to take it down because it's a really old video. It wasn't updated, so I've been meaning to refilm it for so long. And here we are, filming an updated tattoo tour video. So my first tattoo, don't tell anyone, I got when I was 17. And that wasn't in a studio, I actually stick and poke them myself. If you're thinking about it and you're 17, don't try it. It was stupid of me. I should have just waited a few months so that I could actually go and get a tattoo. Here we are, it already happened. I already did it. So all together, currently I have 13 tattoos. So let's just jump into it and run through them all. Okay, so these are the first tattoos that I ever got. I obviously stick and poke them when I was 17 and then I had them gone over when I was 18 in an actual studio and it's a moon and a sun. No reason why. Most of my tattoos don't really have meaning. Then we move on to these flowers which are just underneath my elbow on the inside of my arm and I actually like these. They did mess them up. It's not really how I wanted them. I actually quite like this one, but the other one was supposed to be the opposite and the leaves were supposed to be white. However, they ended up shading all of it and it kind of just looks like a black splodge from far away now. Obviously up close, it's not too bad, but I think at some point I will get the leaves lasered. Now moving around to the back of my arm, I have this globe that says Wonderlust because I love traveling. It's one of the few tattoos that actually does have meaning. I feel like I could have chose a better placement for this because the circle distorts a bit when I move my arm, but other than that, I love it. Then I have this lady that has little flowers coming out of her head and this is one of the quickest tattoos that I ever got. I think it took 20 minutes because it's literally just line work and it's also one of my cheapest because of that same reason, but but she's super cute and I love her. Speaking of things I love, this is David Bowie. I actually am gonna get this covered over at some point just because it doesn't really match the rest of my tattoos. Now this one is honestly one of my favorite tattoos and I get compliments on it all the time. I don't know who the woman is before everybody asks because that is the biggest question I get about this one, but she's just super cute. Now this is Sushi, my baby boy. He passed away on the 20th of January, 2023. And I got this in memory of him because he was still a kitten and it was really sad. He was so cute and it's just to remember him and always have him with me. So this one is actually got a really deep meaning and one of my only tattoos that do have quite a strong meaning. And back to tattoos without meaning, this is just a little butterfly I got and I got overcharged so much for it. So it just makes me angry every time I look at it because I got charged for two hours work when actually it was only took half an hour. This is another one of my favorite tattoos. It's a pile of books with a cup of tea on top because I love reading, I love poetry, I love cup of tea. It's pretty cute, I love it. When people ask me what my favorite tattoo is, I can never make a decision because I actually love loads of them so much including this carousel horse which is super duper cute and again no meaning behind this one after i had my stick and poke re gone over this was my first proper tattoo and it's just a little bee and a lot of people ask me did i get it because my name's daisy b but actually this came before i chose my name so that is the end of this video hopefully my number of tattoos can increase soon but for now it's 13 i really hope you enjoyed this video guys if you did remember to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my next video and i will see you in the next one Bye, guys.